towering over the city skyline, Prague Castle is not only the heart of a city, but of an entire nation. It's also one of the largest castles in the world. Its spires represented the unreachable goal in Franz Kafka's classic novel, The Castle. The compound was once the famous writer's home. Today, it houses the Czech president. Over one million tourists visit the castle every year. But few realize that just beneath lie buried secrets of the past. Over 20 kilometers of tunnels crisscross the city. Originally dug to mine for minerals and to access fresh water, they've been all but forgotten. Many of these underground passages are lost, maybe lost forever. For environmental geologist Václav Silek, the tunnels kick up a wealth of clues, revealing the city's history. For 20 years, he's been unearthing new spaces and new stories. It always has this almost a mysterious quality of getting to the roots of the city. Every year, new and new underground spaces are being discovered, including the passages that were lost for two centuries. These spaces were hollowed out in the 16th century for coal and other minerals. If you will closer look at the wall, you will see so-called pick marks. And from the direction of the pick marks, you can easily get how the people were working. But when the minerals ran out, the miners turned back and dug in other directions, looking for pay dirt. Over centuries, a tangle of tunnels was created. Not only for mining, but to access the wellspring of the city itself. Natural springs that flowed to storage tanks for the city. The water could be easily taken to the castle area, to the monasteries, to the houses. But as demand grew in the 19th century, bigger reservoirs were built to pump more water from the Voltava River. And the old tunnels sealed and forgotten. Water pressure began to build inside. In the 60s, we had several landslides in the area. So it has become clear that these old shafts have to be rediscovered, have to be cleaned, and have to be monitored. For the fix, Prague's engineers turned back to the old ways. The ancient tunnels are now the city's lifeblood once again. They were again used to bring the water to the castle area and elsewhere. Why? Because it's free. At the same time, you drain the whole system and you keep the stability of the slopes intact. Now it seems that a new kind of an equilibrium is reached. Václav's explorations have uncovered a new side of Prague's forgotten history. The most important thing was that we started to understand the significance of the underground spaces for the life of the contemporary city. Directly above him is the vast castle compound. It was founded around 870 AD and was to become the throne of kings and emperors who ruled over Europe in medieval times. At its center is St. Vitus Cathedral its spires reaching nearly 100 meters into the sky. The cathedral took some 600 years to finish, built by over 20 generations of craftsmen. High above, the flying buttresses that keep this tower intact. The system has two key components, a vertical stone block on the outside of the building and an arch or flyer that bridges the gap between buttress and wall. This one-two combo redirects the outward force of the walls to hold it all together, allowing the inside walls to soar unimpeded towards heaven. 